What's up YouTube? First video, building a computer, PC, whatever you want to call it. I have no clue how, never done this. Um, seen about two tutorials, skipped good three quarters of them, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best. So we got our case here, PC extension ports, PSU, CPU, we got our RAM, we got our SSD, our graphics card, our motherboard, two pocket knives, Wi-Fi card, uh, this came with the case, haven't looked inside yet, we'll figure that out. And this uh, came with the PSU, which is shipping stuff, not important. So let's just get straight into it and uh, hope I don't... Uh, yeah. So the start of this is, I want to say simple, but... I can't say I know from first-hand experience. We gotta start with the motherboard. So we're gonna unbox that, and we'll take it from there. Now I have opened the case before. I remember that, but I didn't open like the packaging itself. So box is opened. Um, relatively simple thing to take out. Holy cow. Cardboard. Not needed. So we have two cords here, it looks like. This then will go on the side. So like uh, where you plug in HDMI, VGA, all that. We have an, we have an informational DVD. Don't know what we're gonna do with that. And, um, We have instructions. Maybe we'll use them. But being the men we are, we probably won't. Alright. Actually, before I do that, I have an anti-static mat here. Uh, this kind of clips onto your wrist. Uh, gets rid of any static electricity. I feel like I should go on this one. I'm right-handed. Um, not sure how, not sure the best way to get that to work, but, you know, good enough. All right, so, we're going to open this, and then we'll switch over to the close-up. It's going to be splendid. Hopefully, my hands are clean. Woo! Looks expensive, and it was. Gosh. Um, if you're interested in buying, building a PC, buying parts, uh, the links to all these parts will be in the description down below. But, um, I'm just gonna give you a close up. So here's our little description here. Right in the middle there, that's where the CPU goes. We got RAM placement up here. Um, obviously here, this is where this metal piece here will eventually go on to and ssd goes on here somewhere i believe it goes right here um graphics card there <laughs> like i said it's gonna be rough but it's gonna be a splendid adventure yeah we're gonna love it all right so now we're installing the cpu so that's this right here i have an amd ryzen 5 5000 series, blah, 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 link in description. So we got the little CPU here. And up in this corner, there's a little silver arrow. Can't really see on camera, dude. Recording off an iPhone. What do you expect? And also on the motherboard, there's an arrow where you're supposed to place the PC, the CPU. I lifted up this lever, so now this can be placed into that slot. And I'll give you a view of what that's supposed to look like. Drop it in. So as I said before, we got a silver arrow up here, an arrow right on that corner, and it's merely just gonna slide and drop right in. Beautiful. All we do here, press down. Beautiful. Done. Easy. So now that we got that done, what we want to do is take these two screws here and this, these two screws here, and we're gonna unscrew them up. All right, so now I got those screws all out. Hard to see here, 
but I got those screws out. So now what we got to do is put in the cooling part of the CPU, or at least I'm, I believe that's what it's for. I have no clue how this pops out. Gosh, this, oh. Gotta put this back on. No, I'm gonna be honest. Wait, what's this for? No, oh well, oh well. Does that need to like come off or? Um, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. We're just gonna throw this over my wrist like so, something like that. Yeah, that's good enough. And we're gonna continue to take this out. Currently on my knees, because it's the only camera angle I can get at the moment, but what well, might be uncomfortable, I'm getting a computer. So, trade off. Plastic, gone. This is the part that's actually, so what I'm gonna do is have this AMD part facing that way. So it's gonna go on top just like so. I believe, give me one second, should go right, beautiful. And then I'll show you right here. Here's these like screws on the side. I'm trying to point at it, but those I'm gonna um, screw down until they stop and yeah. Just kind of hope for the best here. Got my trusty pocket knife slash screwdriver. And let's screw. Okay, I lied. We're not going in. I'm gonna go grab an actual screwdriver and then we're going in. All right, back, got two screwdrivers. I don't know which one's gonna work better. Start with the yellow one. Finally done with that. So now we have to hook this cable up and that goes in somewhere over here. So I'm gonna figure that out and then I'm gonna plug it in. Magic. So this next part's incredibly simple. All you wanna do, take this part here and you're gonna hook it up to the CPU fan, which is right here. Crazy easy. I don't know if it needs to wrap around one way or another. Um, yeah, but it should just plug in one way or another. Maybe it's like a USB. Try on one side, you fail. But yeah. So now that the fan's in, we're gonna move on to the RAM. Um, let me grab that. This is the RAM we'll be using. It's um, Vengeance LPX. We have 16 gigabytes worth of RAM in here. It's gonna be amazing. Absolutely splendid. Yeah, I'll be switching camera angles as well because I can't stand kneeling anymore. All right, so new angle, got the RAM. So there's four RAM slots on here. I'm gonna, there's, I'm gonna take RAM slots two and four and there's a lever on them that I'm gonna pull back. So it's very simple, just pull back, pull back, open up our RAM here, grab a handy old Air Force pocket knife. Let's not damage the RAM. That one, I keep forgetting to throw this on too. Let's take this RAM out. It's all pretty in its case here, all right. Very simple, comes off. RAM only goes in one way. Make sure you line up this indent that's in the middle. Um, I'm gonna have this white facing that way. But yeah, so I'm just gonna have those slots I had it slide into. I'm just going to line it up beautifully. 
There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't want to ruin it. That would... There we go. Now it should, hypothetically speaking, flick in. Oh, don't want to force it. Let's just bring it back on that side. Hopefully I don't mess this up. That would not be pleasant. The video I was watching, he slid it in so easily that I feel like I'm doing something wrong. So, um, yeah. Oh, bam, clicked in. We're good now. That was scary. I don't want to like force anything and break it. Next up, same one, four slot. Slide that there, slide that there. Oops, don't want to push down too hard. Bam, clicked in, beautiful. It's splendid. So, I think next up's SSD. But, yeah, let's get right into that. So next up, we're looking at SSD. That's gonna go right along here. You see we have our RAM, CPU, SSD. So I'm gonna unscrew those and pull out the SSD. All right, guys, so we got our SSD in there. As you can see, it's, plop it's like sticking upwards. And we got this super small bag with our motherboard and these screws are minuscule. And I have to put one in there and right over there. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, after a long painstaking process, I finally got that small screw in. And now we have to throw this, which was on top, back in. But don't forget, if you're ever building one, take off this protective film right here and then put it on and screw it in, all right? All right, now that we got that screwed in, we're gonna throw it into our case. So let's get right into it. We're gonna put this into the side over here. So to do that, it's just gonna slide, like pop right in. So all we gotta do, now I'll cut to when it's in because, well, one hand doesn't help. <laughs> I now have it, what I believe to be snapped in. I mean, good enough, right? Now for this next part, we're gonna take our motherboard and then this part lines up. So it's gonna go in like this. So it should hopefully, it fits right in, yeah. But you need to go at an angle, get all that to line up. And it should slide right in. All right, so now that we got that in, we got to screw in there, 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 and just more or less just around the board. So let's get right into that. All right, guys, so I got all the screws in the motherboard. I got all the screws in the motherboard. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our power supply. And we're going to put it in the PC. And yeah, relatively simple. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, let's, let me go grab this power supply. Do a little unboxing video. It's 150 watts, I think, something along those lines. BQ, don't know what that stands for. One more B, you gotta bar yourself a barbecue, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, that looks like tape. Well, maybe we can get under it. Take this out, and that should go like this. Oh, oh. Instruction manual. Yep, I took all that in. Cables, we don't need these. It smells, it smells like, um, I wanna say Home Depot. Are Menards so like when you first enter the store from the air atmosphere like the smell of just the air outside when you step into a Home Depot or Menards that's what it smells like I cannot describe it exactly other than a Home Depot or Menards but <clears throat> I love it I love it we're just gonna 
Throw that back there. Because we don't need that. Got this. Pretty sure we don't need that. Um, power cable. That is important. We're going to put that back here as well for now. Um, not really sure what this is. Looks like a bracelet, but I'm pretty sure it's for the cables to like wrap them together. And whatever this is. I'll figure that out later. But for now, let's open our power supply. Hmm. Gorgeous. Bubble wrap. Oh wait, what? Pop, come on. Come on. Come on. It's not popping. What? Insert bubble wrap pop popping noises. Like, I'll pretend they're there. I'll pretend they're there. <sighs> Alright. So, I was told to place it. Yep. So what I'm going to do is have to place it into the PC fan down. Uh, we got these towards over here. I'll actually take these out. I know one's for the GPU. One's for the motherboard. Um, yeah, that's about as much as I know. The other's for something else. But we're going to figure that out in a second. Whew. That's a lot of cables. Gosh. All right, I'll get it right back to you, and we're gonna throw this in. So I finally finished screwing in over there, and now I just have to connect the rest of the cords, so we'll get right into that. All right, guys, so we got all the cables hooked up. It's hard to see here, but we have our CPU cable up in this corner. We have two fan cables on the bottom, and then we have power cable here, and all the cables are in for now, except the GPU cable, but we're just about to put the GPU in, so let's get into that. Time for another unboxing video. I'm gonna have so much storage taken up on my phone for how many videos I've taken, but it's all right. There's that. Here goes. This is the this is the big one. This is it's really gonna give us some good graphics on our stream. Attention, electrostatic sensitive area. Oh, okay. Now, I don't know if I have static electricity. We're just gonna rub on some metal there. Do not enter the sensitive device. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, we're gonna ignore all directions. I'm not even gonna have our static thing in there, which one to call it on. Yeah, we're ignoring all directions. Pretty self explanatory. There we go. Alright, I did not want to break that. Woo. Here we go. Big one. It's beautiful. So, what we gotta do in our PC case now. We're going to take off this protective film that's on here. There's a second and third bracket on the side. I'm going to unscrew those and throw this in. So uh, I'll show you when it's done. We now have our graphics card in. So what we're going to do here is come over here. Put this back on. Um, I don't believe these go back in here though. But we got that in place. So that is set. So on top of that, I plugged in the GPU cable from the power supply. I plugged it into the GPU coming under. And now what I'm going to do is take the cord here, plug it into the power supply, and plug it into an outlet and make sure it hopefully works. All right, guys. I got it plugged in. So it's a matter of just lights working. Fans are on. It's working. Now we're just going to plug it in and see if it displays on screen. And once I get Windows, we'll throw that on too. Yo guys, we finally we finally got it working. We finally got it working, guys. So we got the motherboard display up, and as soon as I get Windows 10, bam, 
we're gonna be gaming all over this thing.